in a cinema theater after the renovation there was a 20% increase in the seating capacity the price per ticket also increased by 25% but the public response got decreased by 10% what is the percent effect on the original revenue after the renovation a lot of typos here a lot of errors but the context is very clear there is a cinema theater which underwent a renovation 20% increase in the seating capacity 25% increase in the price per ticket but the public response decreased by 10% so what is the percentage effect on the original revenue after renovation how do you solve this see revenue here is simple what will be the revenue revenue will be equal to the number of seats into price per ticket price per ticket into the number of tickets sold right into the number of tickets sold right uh, into the sales it's like that so what will be the original revenue what will be the original uh, revenue let's assume there were 100 seats the price of each seat was 100 rupees each ticket was 100 rupees and 100 tickets were sold 100 people came paid 100 rupees each right what will be the new revenue try and calculate what will be the new revenue he says after the renovation this is post renovation right this is pre renovation this is post renovation after the renovation there was 20 percent increase in the seating capacity meaning now the number of seats are going to be 120 20 percent more the price per ticket also increased by 25 percent so what earlier costed 100 rupees will now cost 125 rupees yes or no what costed 100 rupees earlier will now cost 125 rupees because prices increased after renovation but the public response decreased by 10 percent meaning earlier 100 sales happened 100 people walked in occupied all the 100 seats. now the response uh, decreased by 10 percent so now only 90 people walking right but the public response decreased by 10 percent See, public response decreased by 10% does not mean that 10% less tickets will be sold. I mean, 10% less seats will be occupied. Number of seats are 120. So don't reduce 10% to 120. Earlier 100 seats were sold. Now 90 seats are, now earlier 100 people walked in. Now 90 people have walked in. You're getting it? This is number of seats, price per seat and sales. Sales is nothing but public. Public response or number of people walking in. Yeah, do the calculation. What is he asking us to find out percentage effect on the original revenue after the renovation? So what is the change in the revenue, increase or decrease? You know how to do this, right? This is the final value. This is the initial value. Final minus initial by initial into 100. Do the calculation. Final minus initial by initial into 100. Do the calculation. So it's like 120 into 125 into 90 minus 100 into 100 into 100. Final minus initial by initial. 100 into 100 into 100. Final minus initial by initial into 100. Percentage, right? Percentage calculation. So what happens? 25 is common, let's say everywhere. So this is 5 times, this is 4 times, this is 4 times. If 20 you take common here, this is 6 times, this is 5 times, this is 5 times. If 10 is taken common, this is like this. Again, I think 5 gets cancelled. 5, 5, and 5. Or in fact, uh, 4 also can be cancelled because 6 into 9 is... Achha, not really. So what do we get? Uh, 54, 6, 9, 54 minus 40 upon 4 into... 100. So this is what 14 by 4. 14 by 4 is what? Yeah, 54 minus 40 by 4 is what we get. 6 times 54, 4 tens is 40 and okay denominator is 40 not 4 i'm sorry denominator is 40 yeah so 14 by 40 so i think 3.5 percentage right
or 35 percentage so now is it plus or minus it is plus we have got a positive answer so we can say the revenue increased by 35 percentage right it went up by 35 percentage now do we really have to do this in the exam no this is the regular way we know that revenue is nothing but the yeah price into the number of I think options should be given because I'm not sure if we include seats in the calculation. Revenue should ideally be only price into sales. So 100 into 100 and this is 125 to 90. That should give us impact. Increase in the seats doesn't really add to the revenue. I mean, only that will help us only if more sales happen, but sales have decreased here. So maybe only 100 into 100 versus 125 into 90 should be compared. Hmm? You getting it? You will not get. See, number of seats are not going to impact the revenue, right? Only the number of sales are going to impact the revenue. So I think we should exclude this. Yeah. So I can say original revenue is only hundred per ticket into hundred tickets were sold. The new revenue is sorry the new revenue is 100 uh, sorry 125 per ticket into 90 tickets were sold so now, now the change will be 100 into 100 versus 125 into 90 yeah the percentage increase in the seats would help only if more people come in but the public response has dropped by 10 percentage right if public response increases by 10 percentage then we can consider So maybe then we should say 125 into 90 minus and by the way whatever we are doing can be avoided by using the effective percentage formula i'm sure all of you know about that right a plus b plus a b by one percentage change is known the other percentage change is also known we can apply effective percentage formula to get the answer even in this case even if we include c's effective percentage can be applied uh, yeah so in this case what is the change Twelve point five percentage increase. I mean, one twenty five into ninety is one twelve point five. Yeah, that'll give us a twelve point five percentage increase. You can do the calculation. I mean, I've done it mentally. You can also do it. One twenty five into ninety or ninety percentage of one twenty five is one twelve point five. So twelve point five percentage increase. And I think this should be the right answer. This 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 to me looks wrong. I'm sorry we did it, but that that doesn't look appropriate to me. This is wrong. 35 percentage is wrong because we should not include number of seats. My bad. Don't include the number of seats. This is not required. The calculation should be done based only on price into sales. So I would mark 12.5, not 35. 12.5 should be the answer. When will we include the number of seats? See, number of seats, again, should never be included. The only point is this increase in the capacity will help the revenue if more people come in if more than 100 people come in but here less than 100 people have come in right yeah so 12.5 should be considered as answer